Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm showing you how I made this Japanese-inspired barbecue grill. It's made with a little pot and some wire. Let's get started. I got this little pot in one of those super popular gachapon machines while I was walking around Tokyo. After having dinner at a Yakiniku grill restaurant, I thought it would make the perfect miniature grill. However, you can use any little container you have. The first thing I do is turn the pot upside down and trace its shape on paper. Then, using 20 gauge jewelry wire, I recreate that shape. Snip off the excess wire with some wire cutters. To hold the ends together, I'm using this JV Well metal adhesive. You can also use epoxy or E6000 glue. Just make sure to let the glue fully cure before moving on. For the grate, I'll be using ornament wire because it's already straight and super easy to work with. Measure the length from the center of the circle and cut out that length. Cut out another piece that fits 1 8 of an inch beside the first one. I like to start from the center and then work my way out to the side. Once you have all your pieces cut, start gluing them in place with metal adhesive. Make sure the end of the wire sits on top of the round frame. Now add a wire to the center perpendicular to the first set. Repeat those steps, making sure to allow the adhesive to fully cure. For the look of charcoal, I'll be using this gray foam. You can also use the foam from these foam craft brushes. I cut off a bunch of tiny pieces in random shapes. Assemble them along the bottom of the pot. I add a bit of regular paper glue to hold them together. Add on another layer of foam. Once that's fully dry, the whole foam structure will take on the shape of the inside of the pot. Now I take some gray paint and lightly sponge it across the top of the foam. Once that's dry, I go in with some orange and add it to the crevices. I added a bit too much orange here, so be light handed. Now add on a tiny bit of yellow for the embers. Simply place this foam structure inside the pot, add on your grate, and your grill is done. For a finishing touch, I place a few skewers on the grill.
These were super easy to make with some wood, tissue paper, and some paint. That's it. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more miniature tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye!